We're outside Prenton Park, 6-0 United. With me, with Paul. Paul, what are you making out today? Is it, uh, you can only beat the team in front of you. Great performance, three at the back. Bit of a tactical change. Proper banana skin. Um, the last four away games I've been to, we've got beat. So I kind of had that. Uh, I kind of had that in my mind. Um, the way Tranmere started as well is a little bit of a worry in the first yeah, eight minutes. Yeah, they got they got they got forward a few times and they, they got a couple of nothing really clear cut, but they made Romero work. I think we look a better team with Romero in it. Um, He's just he's much more confident. Uh, what than, is it about him? His distribution. His, his distribution is sharp. He's always looking. If you watch, if you watch, you probably don't see it at the game. But if you watch when you see when you're watching the game on TV or you see the replays, his eyes are straight on, looking for the runs, and he's up and he's quicker. And sometimes and he, he mixes it up. Sometimes he'll kick it. Sometimes he'll sometimes he'll play it short. Sometimes he'll bowl it out. Um, and he just looks like. You wouldn't want to bump into him on a dark night, would you? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Where is the the head? It's just it's just too nice, isn't it? And it's, you know, when he got booked to Liverpool, that was the first time I've seen him really look fucking angry, do you know what I mean? And it's like, as a goalkeeper, I mean, the crosses that come in, I've just been working on, on a few different bits and pieces, so I've been looking back at some goals we conceded. And, like, even the Southampton one, the defending was terrible from it. Pogba let the first... Uh, Pogba let the... Um, the uh, who was it? Was it Ings? Pogba let Ings uh, run off him and get the header in. And then when it's come back out, the crosses come in, and you think, you're thinking... Could the hair have got to that? Could he? Have, could he have at least done some? But it's like going back to Schmeichel and Van der Sar when you had that sort of situation. He'd be, he'd be telling everyone yeah. to get out. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So, so I think he's. Um, I, I think he's better like that. He's, Another clean sheet for him as well. Yeah, the, the level of our position is questionable, but still. Yeah, you've got to take that into consideration. But you can only you can only beat the team in front of you. Um, Another goal, for, another goal for Greenwood. The, the That's ten this season. Marshall's yeah, got his twelve. Yeah, so Mar Marshall's good, and another. He's been doing the dirty work, and like I said last time, he isn't fit. You can see he's not fit, and every time, every time he comes off, he goes straight down the tunnel, and you know he's straight in the ice bath or whatever it is he's doing to try and recover. And he's getting a lot of grief by people that haven't got a fucking clue what they're talking about because Romelu Lukaku scores goals at 2-0 up, and I've been I've been through his career and the statistics, and he scores at 2-0 up but against nothing teams. I think he scored eight or nine goals for United in in um, in big games uh, and when it really mattered, and. Um, Marshall scores big goals when it matters, but he links the play. No one trusted Lukaku, and he, he's holding the ball up and playing little layoffs. And I'm glad that he scored today. I'm glad you've said that because I've noticed that, and people kind of think I give him an easy time because he's my favourite player. But I've noticed him off the ball. He's doing the day. Well, the thing is, um, I, I saw the, um, I saw you and uh, you and Alson having a bit of a bit of a toe to toe the other, the other day, and I've got to say I agree with Alson. I mean, this all this style of play business, we are trying to play. A certain style of play, but I just don't think we've got. I mean, I was looking at City's lineup from the Carlin Cup games, uh, Carabao Cup, whatever it's called this year, and they have they they played six midfielders in that team. All all six of them could have swapped out for any of the two that we played against them, and that was the first time I've seen uh, Solskjaer get proper tactically outwitted. And when Matic came back on, uh, when Matic came on in the second half, he, he steadied the ship, but he's decent like that. But he, he's not got the vision, and even Pereira today a couple of times. Well done, boys. Well done. <laughs> nice well one, mate. Done. He, he Pereira today a couple of Come times. On, let's sell <laughs> he, he, he could have played the ball. Even I think uh, I think it was Greenwood that was on. <laughs> I think it was Greenwood that was on, and he just didn't, he just didn't find him. But he's frustrating Pereira because he's got great feet. He's quick. He leads the press, and he's, he's got a shot on him. But sometimes his head just seems to. Is that just decision making? Yeah, yeah, it's decision making. But is that confidence? Is that having? You no, know, if if he's getting 10, 20 of them situations a game instead of five or ten, then you maybe you maybe you're pinning it less on your decision making. Yeah. So, so yeah, you can only beat the team in front of you and all that, all them cliche, all that cliche bollocks. But six nil, first time we scored six in a while. The crowd was right behind the manager. <laughs> they were right behind the manager, but they definitely weren't right behind Woodward and, and the Glazers. Woodward wasn't here again today. Um, what did you make of that? We saw green flares. We saw all sorts going on. Well, to be honest, I've been leading that, leading that every game, and it's about time that it started to come up because um, it's, it's about time it started to come up again because. I don't know whether they've got no money or what, but they're not interested. They're not interested in making it. And the, all they need to do is just stop taking money out. We're not asking anyone to put money in. Just Give need, us our own money. Just need to, <laughs> just need to stop, stop taking money and change the direction of the travel of the club. Make it look like you're doing yeah, something. Yeah, no. You know, the, if, even, even if <laughs> I don't know if they're United fans or Champion fans thinking about staying. You know, even if it's just paint the fucking stand or something. Do you know what I mean? Make it look like you're flipping, trying to do something. Like you see, you see Liverpool. It's, it's pains me to say it. They're building a new training ground. They've, they've extended Anfield, and they signed. I think I think they've like uh, Klopp signed about about 16 players. I think he signed. And most of them are midfielders, and most of them are getting our team as well. And so, it's. 
it's just not enough. That we haven't got enough. And when I looked, the transfer business that Ollie's done, he's made, he's made three signings. It's good that James got a rest today. He's made three signings there, but we needed five. And everyone's going mad about um, about it being long staff that he was supposedly inter interested in. And I read that um, Steve Bruce kiboshed that deal. So I did a bit of looking into into, uh, into long staff. And he is a kid, but he, he's very much he's very similar to Carrick. He's from a sporting family. And his brother, uh, a Newcastle fan, told me that his brother was even better. Um, and to be honest, we probably should have got a pair of them. But they're probably not the answer. But we need depth. And we, we just don't have that. And I mean, I was saying, he could have got any number nine from anywhere in the Premier League and probably even the Championship just because we don't have one. We've only got we've only got uh, three senior forwards and one of them weren't a senior forward at the start of the season, so I don't know. What do, what do you make of the talk about a walkout at the next home game? I think so close to the Munich game. Yeah. I think so, 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 close to, so close to the Munich game, it's probably, um, it's probably, a, it's probably a bad thing to do at that, at that particular game, but I get the sentiment, I get the idea. I'm not sure whether I'm not sure whether I, I, I kind of like doing that. I think we'd probably be better off going in late. But then, knowing United, did is you it good that there's healthy dialogue though? I know there's oh, a yeah, disagreement yeah. over the 58th, 68th minute what game and all that. But it's good to see there's some healthy dialogue between fans. Yeah, I think there's so many fans have, have, have had their head in the sand for so long, and I've, I've had I've had this conversation loads of times with people, and like they've, they sort of defend their ownership of the club, and it's not been good. And even like even like things like the automatic cup scheme, it used to be. I stopped, I stopped coming for years when I, when I had my kids and that. And I'd come to like five or six games a season and it'd be the cup games and the demand was high. The cup games would sell out because they were the ones that people like me would go to and they'd take my daughter or they'd take, they'd take my kids or I'd go with one of my mates or whatever. And then bit by bit I started getting the getting bug back for it and uh, I started coming I started coming more since we've been shit. And to be honest, it's one of them things where um, people, people, need to, people need to be... Um, Vent in their anger, and and it's not just our club; it's football in general. You know, the football is the football. It's a, it's a working man's game, and well, it's not even that. It's just it's our game. It's a fans' game, and it's not for people to make money out of and sell uh, sell tickets all around the world. And I get that. And that was when I was a kid. I was against the Premier League, and I didn't really understand why I was against it. But I, I just felt uneasy about it. And I was about eleven. I was about eleven or twelve when it came in, and I just didn't like the idea of it. And you know, to, uh, you see the state of clubs like it, like Tranmere here today. Uh, the facilities are awful. It's fallen to bits. Um, it's worse than Old Trafford. Uh, first ground. Only just. Yeah, only just. First ground I've been to this season, and um, you know the, the money needs to be the, the money needs to be uh, shared more evenly. It shouldn't. It shouldn't all be in the Premier League, and even so many in the Premier League teams are flipping struggling, and it's not. You know, um, there needs to be something done. Um, I believe there's legislation in place in Germany to make sure that that, uh, that doesn't happen. Now I don't know. I don't know too much about it, but something needs to some, something needs to change because it, there's going to be a big club go pop sooner or later, and um, it, and it, even even like the, the sort of people that are investing as well. Cause I read that I read that uh, I read that the Glazers takeover wouldn't be legal in America in, in a way that they did it with a, with none of their own money from. All these fit proper fitness tests and all that bullshit it doesn't really mean anything. Does it? No, it's it's. It's meaningless platitudes. It doesn't, and football, it doesn't look after itself and it doesn't police itself in the way that it should. And even, even all the stuff about the um, about the heading of the ball with people getting people getting dementia and all that sort of stuff, they've not really done not really done much for that. Um, so, yeah. yeah, up for the cup though. Yeah, well, we're in the next round. We'll probably get Liverpool in the next round, something like that. And then, I wonder if Ollie mentions his hot balls again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I think. We've done well. Right behind the manager, we scored six goals and tried a different formation. So and a bit of squad rotation, and we'll see how we get on on Wednesday. Um, not got much hope for that, but you know, you never know. And hopefully, we might get a sign-in or two in. Um, and I'd take anyone, anyone would do, um, even if it is a loan signing. But I don't like, I don't like all these rumours about Pochettino because ultimately he's a chief fuck all anyway. So get your boots, Paul. Nice one. <laughs>